question. Yeah. Did you have a kind of uh, a ceremonial throwing of the first blow with a particular person? Yeah, well, yes, you're right, Derek. Normally in the past it's been the president's wife. Um, or whatever, or partner. This year we tried to do something different, so we decided to get, ask our two youngest members to throw the first bowl. Um, so that was Ruri and Magnus. Ruri was away on holiday, so Magnus kindly did the honours. And yeah, I think it was well appreciated by all the members. Yeah, that, that's great. And just you're saying there just now that one of your jobs, I would imagine, is a very, very important job. You're involved in PR. Yeah. Apart from coming on here, and we're obviously always delighted to have any of the local clubs always anything coming on. Yeah. What, what other types of things of the, the people with the club yourself, and you know perhaps other people in the committee? What other types of events and you know yeah. promotion? Sure. I've been, I've been looking at trying. This yeah. maybe this maybe new to the club. Sure. Well, last year for the first time we did a try bowls day. And that was just to give people a shot of the game. I had a special reduced membership and we managed to get 20 new members last year. And I think about half of them have rejoined, so we're going to do that again in, in June. And I do know that other clubs in Midlothian are going to follow suit. Um, so it's really just to try and open the game up to let people know more about it. Was that, was that quite successful? Last it was year? successful and... Uh, we also decided, we asked uh, Ronnie Duncan, who's a gold medalist from Bonnerick, to come along. And that went down quite well with the youngsters and getting pictures taken with the gold medals. And, um, I, I, I should have asked this. Uh -huh. We're talking about your two youngest members, yeah. Magnus and Ruby. Yeah. How old actually, how old they're, actually are they? They're, they're, nine, they're both nine years old. That's, so, that's, that's, that's nice. I, I take it very, very keen. Yeah, they're really keen and they're getting stuck in. Yep. So... Um, I think it's something that... It's a great story, you know, for, for, for youngsters, they're out in the open air, they're moving up and down the ring, so they're probably covering miles yep. without even, even realising that they're, that they're covering miles. No, and, you're, you're uh, right. You know, it's, it's, it's all, it's all hell-based, and I would imagine you'll be hoping that uh, Magnus and Ruby will be going along to school and trying to bring along their best pals. And, you know, well, that's you, that's you doubled, uh, that's you doubled your nine year olds at one fell swoop. No, you're spot on, Derek, because we've got um, a head coach here and he's got four or five coaches and he's been doing stuff with active schools and, you know, bringing them down on a Wednesday from the school and getting involved with the boys' brigade and that. So, yeah, so we're really trying to encourage the youth and, uh, as you say, it's an active sport. I think in the past, and it looks like your club is definitely working to get rid of this. There was a kind of myth that bowls was a kind of a stuffy old person's game, but yeah. you think the clubs like yours, well, it sounds like yeah. yours, are in fact working to reverse that yeah. to show that your bowling club is actually more and more a community asset for yeah. all sections of the community, no. young and old. No, you yeah. think that, that, that's You've summed it up well. That's what we're, t we're quite a young committee here and we're really keen to push it forward. The Daisy Blazers and Ties. and We've even got some members suggesting we have music during the game and jazzy talks and all that. So we definitely want to move it on and even introduce new sports to the club. Somebody suggested uh, petanque or French bulls or table tennis. So just to make it more of a kind of sporting hub.